Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms. And this summer has been horrible as far as a drought goes for us. This is our pasture right now that we've got our goats, our sheep, and our horses in. And uh, it's pretty much been dry. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left. Luckily, we've got a lot of trees and leaves. They're eating on that. We're uh, getting them other food in. Uh, we give them grain and all, but uh, just really not not enough. We finally, for the first time in two months, got some rain come in last night. Today, we're getting some more coming in tonight. And uh, we got a lot of rain, probably uh, just about an inch today alone. Hopefully, we're going to see another inch or so tonight. So uh, now that we got it, you know, hay's a premium because nobody's really uh, going to have much hay this year. And I don't want to start feeding them hay already. So uh, I got thinking, I'm like, well, let me try something, see if it works. If it does, you'll be seeing this video in about a week or so when we start seeing the results. But, uh, you know, kind of documenting it now. This is our pasture, you know, our front yard. It doesn't look quite as bad, but it doesn't look that great either. It's usually really green. I'm real particular about my yard and uh, kind of looks like we're living in the desert right now. So uh, I'm going to show you what I did. And uh, about a week from now, we should see the results if uh, my idea worked. And so I'll make another video and uh, uh, maybe it'll help somebody else out that's going through some drought issues. So here's what I did. I got the LS out and uh, I picked up this sprayer just a couple of weeks ago. This is a Fimco. It's about a 45 gallon spray tank. Uh, we have a chain here in Missouri called Orschlins, like a farm and home store. And they're going out of business. They got bought out by Tractor Supply. So all of their stuff that's Orschlins branded, they're marking down. This was about a $700 sprayer that was down to 140 bucks. So I'm like, I'm sure I can use it on the farm. I've actually been going out in the pasture and just spraying water once the sun goes down at night to try to see if I can get something growing. But uh, I decided with the rain, what I did is I filled it up with uh, fertilizer I use a lot for plants and stuff. And this little of this really goes a long way. It's Alaska fish fertilizer. It's at a fish and shrimp cannery, and it's all the leftover parts they throw in there. It's organic. Uh, the other thing I mixed in there, too, uh, I've been reading about here recently, is diesel exhaust fluid. Diesel exhaust fluid is basically straight nitrogen. It's mostly nitrogen, and it's a lot of the nitrogen that they put when you're in the uh, inside of uh, a lot of the fertilizers. So I put that, you don't want to put a whole lot because it is straight fertilizer. You get too much on it. From what I've been reading, it'll burn your grass and your plants. So you definitely don't want to do that. The other thing with it is from what I've been reading, they say if you use it for fertilizer, which a lot of your lawn companies will do it to get the greener, thicker grass, is uh, go back and spray over it with water afterwards so it's not sticking to the leaves. So I kind of waited till we had a really heavy rain coming down. I mixed a little bit, not, I mean, not a whole lot, about a, uh, oh, about a 32 ounce cup, about maybe three fourths of it uh, with the diesel exhaust fluid and uh, probably about the same amount of the fish fertilizer. And that's probably heavier than what it needs, but we were getting a lot of rain coming down and and all. So we're going to see how this works out. Uh, if my calculations are correct. It should uh, start greening up really within about four days, within a week. Uh, you really be able to tell a difference. I also went around parts of my yard with it as well. And the nice thing about that is, uh, is I did it in strips. So where I didn't hit, it'll be obvious if it does work. And you'll see a lot of nice uh, dark green strips and grass all of a sudden growing where I'm going to get to play with my lawnmower again. Or it's not going to do anything or it's 
going to hurt it. And if that's the case, then you probably won't be seeing this video because I'm probably just going to delete it and then try to figure out how to fix my yard. So anyway, this is uh, part one. And like I said, in about a week, I'm going to get the camera out again and we're going to look into it and see and hopefully uh, we're going to see some uh, grass growing. So not even uh, a week has passed. It's been about four days and the grass is really making a comeback. Now, part of it is just the wind itself is going to make a big difference. And I, you know, I do know that. But looking at the yard in general, a little windy, hopefully it's not too bad. But the, uh, the areas that are, were hit with the fertilizer, they're greening up, they're growing a lot more. The areas that aren't, like right here, you can see still have a lot of brown in them. I mean, granted, there's a few brown spots here and there in all of them, but I see a lot more green in them. The other thing that I've noticed, and you see where all the goats are up grazing right now? Well, that's where I hit it the heaviest with that fertilizer mixture. And besides, you know, noticing you know, it greened up and we got a little grass all of a sudden, but I noticed within two days that the goats and sheep were going back to this area. And I think that's, I think the grass is probably a little better for them to begin with there, or they like the taste of it a little better. But, you know, up until then, they were standing up, they were eating leaves off the trees, they were going after weeds. They're back in this area and this is the area uh, the upper part of this pasture that I really hit heavy and yeah they're pretty much staying there and they're eating non-stop so uh, that tells me that maybe I'm on the right track here we're going to kind of keep track see how it goes we got another big storm that's supposed to come in tonight and tomorrow and uh, if it does I'm going to go ahead I'm going to load up the sprayer again go back out there spray it again while the grass or while the rain is coming down to kind of help wash it in so it doesn't you know burn the grass but it definitely didn't hurt it did didn't burn or tear anything up and it does seem like uh you know like i said the areas that i hit out here that's where the animals are favoring and they're grazing now so you know it might uh might have made a difference and again it was uh the Alaska fish fertilizer that I mixed in a 40 gallon sprayer and I also put some uh, uh, diesel exhaust fluid in there as well and I'm going to put a link to the uh, to the fish fertilizer diesel exhaust fluid I can, you know, I can put some Amazon links to those but I mean that stuff you can pick up anywhere honestly most of what I get I just pick up at the gas station uh, usually you know, my car is the only thing that actually uses diesel exhaust fluid. And so I keep extra at the house just in case. And it's cheaper at the gas station. But, uh, but you know, I'll put some links to it. Just with the diesel exhaust fluid, you want to go light. A little goes a long way from the research I've done on it. And once you get it down, you kind of want to come back over with water. Or like in my case, I just waited till we were getting a really good rain. And that way it kind of got it off the leaves so it didn't didn't burn it but uh liking the results so far it's matt from mcgee farms if you enjoyed the video if it helps you out maybe uh, helps you get past uh, your drought consider giving us a thumbs up maybe subscribing to the channel or sharing it with your friends it's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow till next time